What's up, guys? It's me, Mike Racine, and I'm using Matt's equipment all by myself. Wow, this doesn't really seem that hard, and I bet I could figure this out on my own. Um, quick announcement before the show. I am making my delicious pasta sauce um, for the holidays, and I wanted to open up to you guys, the, the premium subscribers. Yeah, Matt's taking a jar right now and sticking it up his ass. Uh, but... Uh, um, if you want a jar, if you want to buy a jar, the smalls are $6, the larges are 11 Send an email to racinebrothers at gmail.com. That's R-I, oh, Jesus Christ, R-E-C-I-N-E, brothers at gmail.com. Uh, let me know how many you want. If you want to pick up in Brooklyn or a ship, look at that. You can even come to my house and get the sauce, huh? Pretty good deal. So let me know how many you want, and I'll ship it to you, and hopefully we'll have it there by Kwanzaa. Thanks, and enjoy the show. Anyway, all right, ready? Yeah, should we uh, turn this down? No, let's keep it on, Matt. (laughs) Keep the... Wow. Dude, you know what I like about you? You really just make a lot of great creative decisions. (laughs) I mean... (laughs) You just, you just really understand the medium of podcasting, you know, because that's what that's what life is at the end of the day. It's choices, and yeah. your your choice to turn off Jeopardy while we record our show no, to was turn a down really, Jeopardy. to turn yeah was a really God just a really solid one. Thank, Thank you. you so much for yeah. doing that. Yeah, um, dude, <laughs> you're welcome. It's me and Matt, and on mic number three, it's uh, my dog Frankie Wrinkles. Frankie, say hi. Just kidding. It's our buddy Dan Perlman back on the show, back on the Patreon episodes, and none oh, of that cool. uh, research, none of oh, that annoying Patreon research. Yeah, oh, just the boys. <laughs> just for the hardcore fans. Yeah. Just the boys with a Z. Yeah, yeah, unsearchable on Patreon. Just brought yeah. to my attention. Do you guys what? have a good Patreon following? Yes, it's been no, yeah. it's been months uh, <laughs> since we got no one's been able to search for fans us. Who would our, kill show their is, our show is not <laughs> growing. Our show is not growing it's at not all. It's not very growing. It's not. Uh, no, but we just found out it's not searchable because it's not safe for work. But that means like porn. That growth, doesn't mean comedy. Porn, growth is which overrated. kind of feels like your your job. <laughs> yeah, that was you don't, my need, fuck you don't need to grow. You just need to maintain. No, you need to grow. Yeah. If the business doesn't grow, it fucking dies. Yeah. No. Yeah, if you if pull it, out a Don't you storage. understand business, Dan? <laughs> you got to retain people. You still want to grow. It, you just have to make sure they don't leave, you Listen. know? Yeah. That's the goal. I hear you. That's the dream. We're doing all right there on that front. Yeah. I feel like but if I feel you're like not growing, <laughs> you're going to shrink. <laughs> it's like pulling out you're a three-inch die. Penis, <laughs> penis and nothing happens. Keep... What's that? It just stays three inches. <laughs> Doesn't grow to Imagine be a your full dick, your dick is like eight inches flaccid <laughs> and it just gets hard. It's like the same volume. It just gets hard like a like an inflatable raft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um or or you lose you lose a half inch. <laughs> you like well, well, hard now, but it's inch. much yeah. smaller. <laughs> I'm eight inches soft, seven and a half hard, baby. Somehow, I don't know how. I'm a modern miracle. <laughs> you're in National Ge- you're in National Geographic next to a native woman with big tits. Like, the doctors are f- trying to figure out well, how this guy loses an inch. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. his dick getting they use hard. They penis cells to cure modern diseases. The yeah, research is mostly looking at his dick. <laughs> it ends up curing a disease. That's like a spoiler alert. The video game, The Last of Us. They find a. Have you you play video games? No, not really. No, it's like they play a cure. There's they find a cure. Yeah. This, the whole video game, you're protecting this little girl. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So they find. So the whole thing is like they finally find a cure for the zombie outbreak, but they yeah. have to kill the girl mm-hmm. to you know get the cure. So your what your character does is <laughs> kills all the people in the in the in the medical office <laughs> and saves the girl because he's like, you yeah, know, have it has this connection with her. Yeah. And lets the zombie. A trade off we probably world. wouldn't make in real life. I think I think for Frankie, I don't know if I, I don't I don't <laughs> yeah. think I would give him up. Frankie <laughs> cured <laughs> AIDS. You would, you would <laughs> keep him from the gay community. <laughs> it's just me fighting like a hundred gay men. <laughs> like, you can't have him <laughs> But Michael, think about all the lives you could the save. Fuck up. Shut up! No, I'm just gonna shoot out. I'm just gonna shoot out with like a hundred gay cops, a hundred of the, the cops from the village people. Gay SWAT. Oh no! Yeah, they're sending in the uh, yeah, just like just like a bunch of like uh, David Barton guys. I have to I have to hand to hand combat fight them. You're not getting my dog. <laughs> 
Uh, I think they would have to take me. I yeah. don't know. I couldn't do it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta hold me down. You gotta physically hold me down to take this dog away from me and curate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get into the real deep <laughs> philosophical questions on a Sunday night. So, uh, how you been, Dan? You might remember Dan if you if you go back and listen to our Joe Banano episode where we talked about Joe Banano for ten seconds and uh, yeah, <laughs> and then predicted hey, the future. I so do not think Somehow. of it as the Joe Banano episode. <laughs> I did not even know yeah, that yeah, was yeah. what we were supposed to have covered on that episode. I have yeah. no memory of that. <laughs> right. Did That's you so know? Funny. Yeah. No, um, we just talked about Neil deGrasse Tyson being a grab asser, being a pussy grabber. Truly ahead of our times. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing. Did you read the article about it? No. No. Uh, about Tyson when it came out? <laughs> He's like, I want you to lick my black hole. <laughs> My favorite thing in it, so he had like some assistant who uh, quit because he he kept trying to fuck her, you know, and uh, and one of the th- anecdotes she gave was that he had a list on his phone of wait, wait, he's like it was like uh, uh, Tyson carried a list on his phone of overweight actresses as proof that uh, women in Hollywood did not were not held back by weight issues oh. that they felt no societal pressure to be skinny. It's <laughs> so <laughs> funny <laughs> that the Kathy Bates, <laughs> it is so funny yeah. that the most famous astrophysicist yeah. in the world has a list on his phone of fat actresses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like a, he's like a YouTube commenter guy. Yeah. So he like, like gives, yeah. he gives speeches on like the cosmos and like dark mat. And he's just like walking around his office, like Lena Dunham. Yeah. yeah. You that know lady from precious. <laughs> right. <laughs> That, that speaks to <laughs> that lady from Precious is so successful we don't even know her name. <laughs> She's just the lady from Precious. <laughs> oh man. I feel like did you see Precious? I didn't see it, but I feel like I would probably not enjoy it because I don't like that yeah. like my emotions are very easily manipulated. Sure. And I, I just don't I don't want to watch Monique. I'm a rape comedy her fan, yeah. I yeah. saw the well, I yeah. saw the tra- it was I feel like it was one of those where you saw the trailer and you're like, Cool, I've seen the movie. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. see like ten bad things happen to her. Yeah. And then you yeah. see her like looking strong at the end and you're like, All right, I guess she got punched a lot yeah. and is now yeah, yeah, still yeah. okay. Yeah. I saw the Academy uh, the Academy Award clip and I was like, Oh, she deserves it. <laughs> Give what, it to Monique? her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She's probably just like eating candy. Andy for breakfast. That was a, that was a thing. <laughs> That's that was the a clip th- they use in the academy. No, that was the thing that kids in high school did all the time. Like teachers would be like, "Put the candy away," and they'd be like, "But you know I didn't have my breakfast yet. <laughs> Why you didn't let me eat my breakfast?" <laughs> anyway, thank you, thank you. All right, where were we? Um, uh, uh, precious. Um, Tyson, we're recapping last time. We saw oh, Joe right. Banano. Yes. No, that's so. Yeah, that's so funny that he. Uh, <laughs> Proof that they're not held back by weight. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so, just such a, it wasn't like the most offensive thing he did, but it's like far and away the funniest. Like yeah. that's really. <laughs> right, right, right. I so want him to just publish that list. Yeah. yeah how yeah. long I, is that? More list, than dude. anything, I want to see who Neil deGrasse Tyson thinks are the fat actresses. Yeah. That yeah. He like <laughs> jotted down. It's like Diane Lane now. Or something, you know? like, like, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got low standards for what's fat. Yeah, like Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You pig. Um, uh, what else? What What was the best movie of 2018? Oh, um, I liked this. This is great movie. Nobody saw it, but it has like 100 percent good reviews. Called Leave No Trace. Okay, and it was this movie that Deborah Granick she made you know, Winter's Bone. Okay, um, it was just said Jennifer Lawrence, but it was the one that made Jennifer Lawrence famous. Oh. And so it's Ben Foster. He plays a veteran with PTSD in the woods who's living in the woods. His thirteen year old daughter, and the movie is so good. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's and uh, like, yeah, it literally got all good reviews, and s- still only like fifty people saw it. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do you do? Because because my favorite movie was Thoroughbreds, and I nobody I really saw that. it. And I it was they were mm. I was seeing ads for it all the time. Yeah, and I thought everybody was going to see it. Sure, yeah, and nobody saw it. But it was really really good, really good, well paced, and I liked uh, I liked Eighth Grade also. Yeah, that, um, was, that one was okay. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. I love when <laughs> Bo Burnham just says the N word on his comedy specials. <laughs> does he really? Kind of gets away. With it. He does a bit where he's like talking to a robot. Yeah, and the robot just says the N word. And he's like, hey, hey. And he's like, 
the robot's like, I'm not human. I can say whatever I want. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny how the, the some of this stuff, like, yeah. It's just if we if people decide they dislike a person, then they would never get away with it. Yeah. Like, I liked what, do you see what Nick Cannon did with the Kevin Hart thing? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But all those were pretty recent, though. I, I don't know if they, those were real, because he found, like, Chelsea Handler saying the word fag. Yeah, yeah Chelsea but Handler. From this year. Schumer. Right? It was all this year. And uh, Schumer Silverman. was talking about like, Skyrim Schumer or something. Was a, Schumer was a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. 2012. Um, and then, but but Sarah Silverman <laughs> was like this year. The premise doesn't fully work because like all those women get shit on all the time. Yeah, for yeah. like everything they do. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's not like, why doesn't anyone give internet hate to Amy Schumer? Right, right, <laughs> like, right. That's, that's like why the internet exists, so people can <laughs> give Amy Schumer hate. Well, the best thing about those Kevin Hart tweets was that he can't spell billboard. He spelled it as two words. <laughs> Is that what one of them was? Uh, yeah, he goes. Uh, <clears throat> he goes. Um, oh, that new Damon Wayans profile picture looks like a gay billboard for AIDS. <laughs> that, like space dot dot dot. Like he uses like an ellipsis. Wrong. He, like his grammar is like bad. You know, yeah, space yeah. dot dot dot. Damn, I'm on fire tonight. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for, for the, the for it. so yeah. it's like I, I don't I don't even have anything negative to say about Kevin Hart. I just it, it just seems like he's like people can't be everything. You can't. No. Well, what do you what do you want from? Also, it's just funny. It's just funny that like that they're acting high and mighty about it when it's like they've literally given Roman Polanski standing ovations. Yeah. yeah they've yeah. given him multiple awards yeah. over decades. And it's not like the stuff about him just like resurfaced like Kevin Hart's tweets that nobody saw. It was like. Right. You know what I mean? This guy was like, he was like convicted of raping a kid. It's just known, yeah. And The Penis wasn't even that great of a movie. I didn't, it didn't I deserve it. <laughs> it was the yeah. biggest crime of all. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, was his yeah, big yeah. comeback, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know that you you, I, some of you are mad at me for raping that child. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just a little African guy. Yeah. 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 A little African guy, yeah. The gods must be crazy. you got to very Yeah. I hope this story about the Holocaust will... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's a, that's a weird thing. Are there any are there any problematic artists for you, Dan? That like you still enjoy their uh, their work? I grew up like I grew up like loving Woody Allen's movies and comedy yeah. and stuff. Yeah, and and then and then like of late, all his shit was really bad. Yeah, but like there are a good amount of his movies. What was the movie he did with, awesome. with Dice and Sally Hawkins and Kate oh, Blanchett? Oh, uh, Blue forget. Jasmine. Blue Jasmine. That was pretty good. That one was pretty good for like one of his later ones. Yeah. But there was like a streak in like the 70s, 80s where it's like every movie he did. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. just like really good. Great, 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 great. Yeah, yeah. You know? And in the 90s, I guess he kind of dipped down. Yeah, I think he started at some point started going. Busy. He got a little preoccupied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once he had like legal issues. Yeah, yeah. Then he sort of went on autopilot a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, he was one of those guys, and it's like, it's you know, you could pretend these guys didn't have any influence, but it's like a lot of the people who everyone loves today were clearly influenced by someone like him. Like Greta Gerwig, or everybody loved for like Lady Bird. It's like she's clearly influenced by him, you right, know. Like right. like a lot of these people. Yeah. What about for you? Uh, Anthony Cumia, probably, because mm -hmm. I still like. I mean, I know everything he says about you know race is really bad, but I I was just listening to him today and I was like, God, you're so fun and funny and fun to listen to. Sure, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the stuff the, you say and think of, and you're really quick and you know. But then, you, you and, that was, and the, those shows when they had, would have all those guys on. Yeah. Just like joking around with Patrice and everybody. It was like, yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I think people, it seems like people are, are unwilling to accept <laughs> people's uh, shortcomings or flaws. You know, it, it, well, it's then like, it's weird because then it's like, where do you, it's like, uh, do you just ignore that they even existed and just pretend, like I was just saying, like the people who are influenced by them, do you just pretend that like they're the real innovators when it's like they right. were taking influence from these yeah. more fucked up people? Yeah, there's this I mean, weird it's push like, for everybody to be, like, ideologically perfect, I think. And then it's like, right, and it's like, also, do you teach, do you not teach somebody yeah. who was, fu like, fucked up if they're, like, had influential writing or whatever it is? Or do you teach them 
in conjunction with the fact that they did fucked up shit. Yeah. And like see how that bleeds into like, it. Hello, like, that welcome, seems like to, a way. welcome to Film Class 101. I'm <laughs> Professor Hawkins. Um, so uh, we're going to watch a movie. Now, this director did pee on a young girl. But <laughs> his <laughs> use of lighting. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Now I really want you to look at You know, like it's blatant racism. You know, there's like a. Uh, you know, there's those movies like D.W. Griffith and The Birth there's of a Nation. There's got to be a million film professors who just watch Birth of a Nation, like, in secret, because it's they're like, for its time, it's really good. <laughs> That's what they <laughs> say. Just they watching, just do it. They're watching a, a, a Klansman, like, yeah, fight a a, a black a white guy in blackface. <laughs> and they're like, a, retarded, a retarded white <laughs> yeah. guy in blackface. They're like, look at the first use of montage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Some you got to enjoy the sound design dude here. Dude, yeah, getting yeah. beat up or, like, fucking drug around or something. Yeah. 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 Some nightmares yeah <laughs> like the, the protagonist is like a shwarmy southerner dude yeah, but then yeah, a lot yeah. of it's like facebook feminists are like woody allen's fucking trash like like they they sort of actively like don't enjoy the work and i don't know i just think that things are complicated and even patrice o'neill didn't like you know gays or women sure yeah but it's also it's like yeah i mean that's why i mean none of these people should be senators yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Like it's yeah. like no one. <laughs> right. It's uh, yeah. As long as they're not breaking the law, they can. You well, know, also then there's of... and then there's also a difference of like should some once they're outed as having done fucked up shit, it's like there's a difference of like do you keep? It doesn't mean they should be able to keep making stuff, but it's also like the stuff that they've made. It's like I don't know, and that gets into like we're talking about like baby, it's cold outside. It's yeah. like I just think it's so thanks lazy. for yeah it's thanks so for bringing it up lazy the and war e- on my favorite Christmas song. <laughs> 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 it's so lazy and easy to I think go after go after stuff in the past and call yeah. that like oh that's not progressive enough when it's <laughs> like like the art is always just like a reflection of the culture you know or the climate yeah so it's like people you know those like articles that'll come out once in a while that was like friends was transphobic and it's like i don't like society was do you know what i mean yeah it wasn't like friends it was like that was just a reflection of like where yeah society was was. like a snapshot of it's like very easy mm -hmm. to to critique that when it's like also was like yeah it was like the world it was like you know yeah friends wasn't making the laws right right, like it's like (laughs) yeah it's just the way people thought and stuff yeah you watch you watch a lot of those old shows and it's like yeah, all right. Yeah, they wouldn't do that today. But it's like it's it would be it's more it would seem more relevant to like look at shows that people claim are progressive now, but really kind of aren't in a yeah, lot of ways. Like girls and criti- right and critique those. Yeah. Then like oh, it's it's so easy to look at something from the '60s and yeah. be like they weren't looking at sexual fluidity well enough. And it's like yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They were still bussing people to schools. Like it's like. <laughs> But I don't know, like maybe we don't know what the what the new progressive thing is going to be, you know, because now yeah. it's like transgender is like the progressive thing. But it, but, you know, 15 years ago, it was like, oh, it's a guy in a dress. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. Well, yeah. Woman. Sure. Right. Now, if you say that, you'd be like yeah. fired from <laughs> you'd be fired from Arby's for making that comment. Yeah. Dude looks like a lady. It's a fucking Aerosmith song. Yeah. <laughs> do you yeah, think yeah. Uh, do you think making fun of Italians will come around? And they play it in Mrs. Doubtfire, too. <laughs> it's like, dude looks like a lady. I'm dressing up like a lady. Yeah. It's like so absurd. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The entire concept of that movie. Is Mrs. Doubtfire transphobic? Probably. Yeah. But it's you know. What why though? No, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe but maybe it's not. Maybe it wasn't. I yeah. guess I don't remember specific we could probably jokes from it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there are jokes that people would call out. Yeah. And be like, oh, when he like pees standing up. Body or something. shaming. She's like, or... she's like, you're gonna get it in the balls. <laughs> right. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. No, <laughs> wait. You know what I watched? I put on. I was waiting for Deb to get ready. We were going to this party. I put on the Naked Gun. Yeah. And there's a scene where it's like all the enemies of America are meeting in a room. It's like uh, Gaddafi, uh, the Ayatollah, Yasser Arafat, Fidel Castro. Like we're gonna destroy America. And then Leslie Nielsen like burns the guy with a with a coffee pot and punches him in the face. And beats <laughs> up the whole room. And it's like I guess that's like politically correct. But I was watching. I was like, this is objectively so funny. <laughs> right. He's just beating up the Ayatollah. <laughs> And, and he like knocks over Yasser Arafat and hits Gaddafi. And, like, well, it's it's funny because for like for, like the most rewatched thing on Netflix, I bet is The Office. Yeah, and that's a show that 
And that was only like, what, 10, 15 years ago? Yeah. But it's like, they would never, that Steve Carell character would never be that popular today. You think? The, fir- the first episode would be just him getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> it's like all him sexually harassing people. Yeah, and it would be uh, absurd. Super fast. Like, let's all pretend to be different races. Like it's like <laughs> right, right. it's like and, and he's the funniest. He is the <laughs> funniest person. Yeah. on TV and was for years. Yeah, but that character, like, that would not be popular today. There would be like so many articles about how wrong it is, and they would have to apologize, and yeah. they would have to kill off his character. Yeah, and replace it with somebody else. <laughs> he would, yeah, they yeah, would yeah, kill yeah, off yeah. his character in the third episode. They'd replace it with. They'd, like, yeah, they'd have to do whatever House of Cards did. Exactly, they would bring it. They would bring <laughs> Robin, in Robin Wright. Right. Robin Wright, Robin Wright would be, be the, the new boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to do yeah another another show, but I guess I, I mean I guess maybe this is like naive or something. But part of me just wants to believe like if something's funny, it's funny and people will leave it alone. So like even though like that naked gun thing, if you described it, it's kind of offensive. But sure. it's like just watching it play out, it's like objectively funny. Sure, and I think if you're like skilled enough in comedy and how to create comedy, you can get away with stuff. You can I, get away. I think I, I, I also, want I, that's that, what I want to believe. I have don't you know. seen that new show, uh, uh the uh, the last OG Tracy Morgan show? No. It's pretty good. Shelby, makes... Shelby made you watch because she was just telling us about it. Yeah. Yes. I bet Shelby made you watch it to get more diversity in your life. <laughs> Yeah, Shelby made me watch the TBS Black Matt, Show. Yeah, watch the TBS Black Show. You have to. It's so good. I swear to God, yeah, he's right. like making she fun t- of white dudes. Because she told you to like it. Genderfication. It's pretty good. She told pretty you to like good. it. Pretty good. She was like, but, she was like, but, we we like this show. <laughs> we like. This I was show. like, oh, okay, <laughs> sounds good, baby. It's like if something if something's funny, it's funny, but also like, I mean, not ever. Now there's just like we're talking about how oversaturated everything is. It's like. That's kind of the good thing now is that not everyone has to like a thing for it to still be popular yeah. and have an audience, you know? Yeah. Right. Because when there were only like five shows, it had to appeal to everybody. Yeah. Or they would just replace it and <laughs> yeah. add a different fifth show. Right. But then it's also like the stuff that was on was like the show. So yeah, there was yeah. a little more like competition, I guess, was bigger. But it wasn't so saturated. We weren't so saturated with entertainment. Right. But now there's just too much that you don't even know. But now yeah. something could be. Weird or now appeal to like find, yeah. appeal to something that is not going to appeal to most people, uh-huh. and it's still considered a hit, you know? Yeah, like Mrs. Maisel or something. It's like probably how many people have watched that show? Yeah, a, f- a thousand show about a lady doing comedy. <laughs> it's like, come on, it's, it feels like probably. Don't like, you understand? Men watch TV too. <laughs> it, feels like people, it feels like one of the shows that probably like ten thousand people have watched, and it. But it does. You that's think? enough. It's yeah. won a million awards. Yeah, yeah. It's like how many people? If you ask, do you think that's a less popular show? Anything Amazon seems less popular. Is there like I don't, really? do you think I, What's I don't think millions of people Hulu? have Handmaid's watched Tale that show Hulu? by any means. I don't think millions of people have watched yeah. that show yeah. versus like I don't know any show that's on CBS. Yeah, yeah. Handmaid's Tale is Hulu. Is Handmaid's really? Tale a good show or is it only for f- female Saturday Night Live writers? <laughs> I've never I've never even seen it. <laughs> yeah. I hear it referenced so much. It's all just for women who are on Twitter all day. <laughs> I tweet it's and I watch the Handmaid's Tale. It's such a depressing show, bro. It's and I so bad. have abortions and I have a dog. <laughs> I don't know how you what? could ever be happy if you watch that show. Yeah. 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 It's so sad. Yeah. But what? anyway. <clears throat> that song? You remember the, the Baby It's Cold Outside baby, it's one? Cold yeah. Outside? So what, what I want to show you, Dan. Well, first of all, like, yes. I don't know. I mean, everybody's got everybody's got an opinion. Yeah. On it, but uh, you know, Marsha Belsky actually she made a good point. She was like, "Oh, it's about a woman who like wants to have sex, but she that's can't because society." That's what I I, di- I didn't read uh, Belsky saying that, but I saw somebody else write a thing about that also. Yeah, yeah. that it's like she does want to do it, but she's like, "Oh, everyone's gonna judge me." So right. it's th- that it's it's about how women were judged too harshly for. Wants to have like active sex lives, right? She's like, I really want to fuck this 1950s closet homosexual who's like, baby, it's cold out there. Please stay here. I can pr- maybe get hard if I <laughs> if you throw Jello at me. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's just he's l- just looking for a beard. He's just looking for some for a woman. I need to someone stay. to meet my family. <laughs> That's really all it is. Yeah. He's just hoping. 
She's hoping she's not judged, and he's hoping somebody sees a woman leaving his apartment so he will not be outed. Yeah. 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 He's like, look, everyone, look, everyone. It's a lady <laughs> leaving my house with, with a bagel. <laughs> yeah. What a good song that would be. Yeah. <laughs> if the lyrics were please, just, please just a, just, a little please tweaked. Just sleep on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> let me walk you. Let me walk you to the to Main Street. Please just uh, sleep on my couch while I go to my room full of Greco Roman art. Because <laughs> I because I'm an art enthusiast. <laughs> um, are you are you yeah. gonna play that song? For well, yeah. Us? So what I want So what I want to do is like <laughs> now. I mean, like I feel like this this is kind of maybe this is like an old talking point, but I feel like five years ago everybody's like. It's it's rape. That song is rape. And, you know, like there was like sort of like a panic over it, and like yeah, you know, like ban the song. <laughs> this is this is fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. So, so uh, what happened was a few years ago, I played this for Deb, and she was like, "Turn this off. I can't listen to it." Yeah. I have a lot I want to say about this. I want to show you, Dan. Okay. Um. <laughs> I like your socks, by the way. Very, oh, thanks. They're very yeah. festive. Yeah, my roommate gave Oh, wow. Me. Great thing to say on a podcast, you they're, fucking idiot. They're, no they're, one's ever going to see I'll, them. I'll plug them. They're bumbus. <laughs> no, we'll put them on the Patreon. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you know, people can, if people, if the 200th one, they can get a pair. Okay. From me. Yeah, yeah. If we, we get a 23 more subscribers. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the 23rd one, it will get a pair of my bumbus socks. Okay. Perfect. Maybe it's cold outside Trump <laughs> Clinton. God. You can just make anything. Oh, it's like parody songs. I, I, you can just make anything and put it on the internet. Yeah. Could you make um, a, a a gay baby? It's cold outside, real fast, off the top of your head. It's like two seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horny. Me too. <laughs> I'm horny as fuck. Yeah. Go ahead, Matt. Sing it. Sing sing that song you've been thinking about all week. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Uh. Uh. Woke, I, 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 baby, it's cool. I said woke. Let me see if I can find it. But Dan, I want you to like watch, yeah, Lydia, Lisa, and Josiah Lemansky. Now, this is like this. This is kind of like the problem with society. I think um, this came out. I want to say this came out. I remember listening to this like maybe six years ago, maybe twenty thirteen, and um, just look at the guy's face as he sings his. Oh progressive version of this song. Okay. Oh, it's on only headphones if you Oh. I really can't Dan, your headphones are on. fine with that. Okay. I've got to God go damn it, no, maybe I'm cool with that. You can't hear it, can you? This evening has been <laughs> No. <laughs> so <laughs> Let's pause it real fast. Let's come back to you. <laughs> Where is that? Uh, they're down at your feet. You're down at your feet. Oh, yeah. Matt, oh. put your headphones on the floor, <laughs> which is usually where headphones go. I placed them at your feet. And, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, um, okay. Okay. One day he's going to show up to do the show, and I'm just going to have equipment. <laughs> like, well, set yeah, and there's going to be a robot the labeled. We're all listening yeah. to Jeopardy. <laughs> I'm, fa- I'm phasing him out like he's a fucking GM worker. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's let's start from the beginning. And then, yeah. All right, there we go. I really can't stay. Maybe I'm fine with that. I've got to go away. Maybe I'm cool with that. This evening has been when you get home so safe. very nice. I'm glad you had a real good time. It's like she forgot her ukulele or something. <laughs> <laughs> she knows that you're and father will be pacing the floor. You better get your car So really, I better scurry. Take your time. Should I use the front or back door? Which one are you? Like, do either of them look like they're having any kind of fun? Nice no, I mean, it, uh, I would, I would think they, they don't know each other, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he just. <laughs> he, that sounded like he didn't want to be there. Yeah, didn't it? That's get, so fu- get the fuck out. That's so funny because this was made like, this was clearly made for the internet. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it has twice as many dislikes as likes. Yeah, yeah right, right. <laughs> the internet and like both the, I mean, yeah, both those kids got multiple death threats. Yeah. <laughs> 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 from you. From me. From yeah. like, they, they made this just for 
like the woke young internet oh, and it's they the worst. all hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 10,000 dislikes. No one, I mean, that's like the kind of, with this, like, some of this like woke art, like no one, it's not for anybody and nobody <laughs> likes it. People pretend to like it and people feel like they have to like it and they feel like they have to make it like they're making some kind of point. I scroll, I scroll to but, see the comments and the top one is yours. Is it? Yeah. Neither of them look happy. Oh, yeah, I think I did. I went on a little YouTube. Is it the top rated comment or just the most recent one? I guess just the most recent one. Yeah. The one below is the top rated one is this is why Trump won. Yeah, that's, what a fucking interesting take. Yeah. Well, actually, I saw some idiot, some Jersey idiot, say that like they were getting rid of baby's clothes. He's like, just so you know, this is the reason Trump won. Like, yeah, because they censored your favorite song, right? You fucking moron, you unoriginal. Yeah, Yo, unoriginal boss said. <laughs> yeah, you could just take the it's top comment really. from YouTube and just be a fucking unoriginal hack. Yeah, on Facebook and do well. I don't know. It's like, it's a, what's whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it, it, that's it's, like this brand it, of feminism. But it's just like, is it worth? I don't know. It's just like, the, okay, you can correct the stuff from like the song's literally probably from seventy years ago. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, what are what are we doing? Yeah, what? Not 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 even like that. I we hold that song dear, but it's like, okay, who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. What's that fixing? Yeah. Is it? Well, this kind of feminism is like the first galaxy brain of of feminism where it's like, I'm not supposed to want, I'm not supposed to be horny. Like, right. that's like the yeah. first, this is I like, this is like the level one of male feminism where it's like, I don't want to fuck because a fu- a fucking is men are bad. So yeah. I shouldn't be in a inside. duet about fucking. Come on. It's a duet. But about You're not, not going to be yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting yeah. down with that. It's just a really weird <laughs> brand of liberalism where it's exclusively because i was at uh dinner i think it was only a year ago i was with like where my ex-girlfriend got into an argument with uh her grandma uh-huh. about this song oh really yeah and it was like oh my god her, her mom and her grandma were both like we love that song that's yeah. a great song really? she's like it's a bad song and they're like <laughs> yeah. it's the best song ever yeah. 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 Like, yeah. they're yeah. arguing yeah. it was the greatest song <laughs> ever yeah. 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 Both women, but they're like, yeah, it is yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, our yeah. anthem. Like, it's, it's so funny. It's, it's so like funny national anthem. What you can get boomers to be excited about, or older people to be excited about. <laughs> there were, yes, right. you tell them to be excited about. They were it, arguing like, about that. They were arguing about <laughs> the that famous you know, the D Day kiss, the photograph oh, yeah, where the yeah, yeah. guy is kissing the nurse or, right. the, or the the soldier. Oh right. no! And there, and she was like, that was wrong. Like she didn't have consent, and they and they were like, she did. Give consent. It's the greatest <laughs> kiss ever. Like, it was like yeah, 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 yeah. But it's such a funny right. brand of liberalism where it's literally only about like feeling superior to your grandparents. Yeah, yeah. Who are gonna be dead in five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Let them have it. Yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be an iconic photo if it was like some some serviceman like grabbing a lady's dick like, like, <laughs> yeah, and not yeah, looking. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like yeah, yeah. And, like, like taking like a photo. Yeah, Al Franken. Like Franken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> Right, there's yeah. obviously there's over obviously a flak vest. <laughs> yeah, grabbing her boobs over a flak vest. Wow, look, at this, like, re- look at this! Look at this iconic photo of, of Al Franken forcing <laughs> force kissing a woman. It's uh, the greatest photo of all time. <laughs> right, the greatest photo of all time. Yeah. <laughs> While she's sleeping, and pretending to grab her tits. Wow, it should be in Time magazine. <laughs> MoMA. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was the famous moment <laughs> when, <laughs> when, the war, when the war, well, it didn't end, but it was just there. were. It didn't end, but going. one pervert was really, it's just, it's just a guy in a sewer taking a photo of a, of a lady's skirt. Like, wow, the classic photo. Right. You would, because I think I even saw an interview with that nurse and like, I yeah. think she was like, yeah, you know, we just defeated the Nazis. So I, I let him kiss me, mm-hmm. you know, so. I'm sure there were other t- takes. There were other photos of women pushing sailors away. <laughs> yeah, like, please, those were less like Please don't touch though, me. Yeah. yeah. yeah the so, greatest um, photo ever. The greatest song ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Just watching people dig their heels in. Yeah. It's right, a, right. an amazing song. Well, it, was the <laughs> yeah. same, it was the same weird phenomenon with uh, with Brett Kavanaugh, where like everyone in my right. family was like, how dare they disgrace this great man? <laughs> yeah. I was going to try to take this his guy, career yeah, yeah. away. This, this, guy, this guy I they, found out about five yeah. hours ago. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, never, yeah. Dare they? They'd never heard of him. <laughs> right. He was a wonderful judge. Wonderful judge. Great judge. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, he's just like he was a great coach of his yeah. goddaughter's basketball team. That's it's like, right. What? <laughs> Who's this guy? Yeah, like if you went to high school with him, he would bully you. He would <laughs> he would be like he would like yeah. pour pig's blood on you yeah. at the prom because you were poor. Yeah, or he something. would bully <laughs> you in a bathroom. And yeah, put his penis on you. The takes about that one were so give funny. You swirly. The, yeah. the right the like right wing Twitter defending him was like very funny. Yeah, because there was stuff was coming out about like. You know that he was in like bar fights or whatever, yeah. and one like not not Tucker Carlson, but like somebody like that, like posted something like, "I don't know a single man who has not been in a bad <laughs> bar fight, not a single one." It's like yeah. bar fight, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> there was a bar fight in my life. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, I meant people that have seen Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mom said about the the pussy grabbing tape. She What's was that? like, "Let me all men talk like that. Every single man talks like that." <laughs> That's your Every, mom? Yeah, my mom. Yeah, 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 because she just what doesn't she just can't be wrong. Like, and your dad's she, like, "I don't know." Once she makes a decision, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once That's she makes a decision, because oh, she decided she was supporting him and then just yeah. couldn't couldn't adjust. Will not go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah all yeah. men say things like that. So, <laughs> all so all right. It is embarrassing to to admit you are wrong about a candidate you are for. You know, uh, not really. No, really. Yeah, Bernie Sanders said something about how uh, women all like to be all raped. <laughs> they all enjoy it very much. That is very wrong, Bernie. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, don't yeah. like you anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah. I liked. I uh, remember that. I liked. I liked Wiener. <laughs> And oh that's right! Like, all right, well, that, you know that's far enough for sure. Matt likes Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Wow, well, that was maybe um, the lowest hanging <laughs> joke I've ever. And I went for it. No, but, but that yeah, that guy yeah, I like. I thought he was cool. And then yeah, that doc. You ever see that documentary about him? No. It's so good. It's he's so such a psychopath. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's un. So so it's like it, I think it's just it's called Wiener, and it's about. So he hired this documentary crew when he was running for mayor so he was it was comeback uh -huh. and he thought this was going to be like a fun publicity thing that would end with him being inaugurated mayor but then obviously the second scandal happened <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and it all happens so quick yeah that he like forgets that he's being filmed and he's such a narcissist yeah. that he never asks the cameras to leave yeah. so it's like all these other dick pics come out they're filming him like having these weird conversations with his wife he goes on the, like one of these like MSNBC shows, and the guy's like, "Why are you still in this race? You're embarrassing." Yeah, and he's just yeah, like, "The people I, working for him are like, we don't that's know between, where he is." Like, that's between me and God. Or right, yeah, like he's that. like being Some crazy, and then it cuts to him like watching himself on TV with a camera filming him. Yeah, watching himself on TV. His wife comes in the whole like holding their baby, and she's like, "Are you really going to keep watching that?" And he's like, "Yeah, it's pretty good, right?" Uh -huh. And she was like, "This is bad," and he's like, "It gets better in the second half." And oh, she no. and she leaves and just stays on him, like watching himself with a camera. It's crazy. Wow. It's insane. It's a pretty good doc. It's wild. It's the funniest movie I've seen in ten years. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy because it's like it's just about this guy who like it's just, it's just a documentary on on Netflix about Anthony Weiner. It's he seems like he would have yeah. been a good politician if he just didn't have a sex drive. But he just wants to sex every like, single yeah. supporter. That, and he's like, "You're doing a great job." And he's yeah, like trying he, to sex. He well, it broke down his pro first. Well, it, the thing is, it's not even the problem was that he like sent a picture of his dick. It's that he just like couldn't stop sending pictures of his dick. Right, right. he just couldn't insane control yeah. it. And he it broke down like his weird. I forget if this is in the documentary or some like review of it, but it broke down his process of how he'd find all his supporters he would like people would leave a nice youtube comment about that about him on like a speech they're like oh he's kind of cute he would like google their username look them up find them on facebook and then hit them up and be like hey it's me i saw you liked something i did on youtube wow. and then start chatting and then send a dick pic oh which is a crazy level of research yeah for a Congress. It might be a dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For a guy who has like a supposedly important job. <laughs> wow. Hey. Yeah. Shout out to a real one. I bet we can get him on the podcast. Dude, his campaign manager get him on our show, was right? so fucking pissed in that fucking documentary. Yeah. She's like, are yeah, you yeah. serious? They all were. Wow. It was like amazing. And they were all women. Like yeah. most of them were, were women. I remember there was like five, like five or six women that were just like disappointed with him in one room. Uh -huh. Do you remember yeah. that or no? Yeah, no, I remember. And yeah, he like didn't apologize, but he was just like, 
Boy, it's been a tough week, huh? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like another <laughs> another hit for Team Wiener, huh, guys? <laughs> like, like what like, the fuck? Like it was dude. just like rain. Like, yeah, it's like who would have thought this would happen? I forget how it ends. It ends with like some smash thing. Like he winks at the camera or something fucking stupid. At some point, he's just like alone in a limo, quoting <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield jokes, literally. <laughs> He's he's like a pretty passionate speaker, but yeah, but he's just like, like talking about how not enough people respect him. He's like, no respect, huh? Oh, my wife, uh, she's a good woman. <laughs> he's just like quietly quoting Rodney to himself. Oh wow. boy, that's like the Bill Clinton thing when they asked him about Monica Lewinsky. He was yeah. like, I, I don't, I don't think I need to apologize to her. Yeah. Just oh, recently, like right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, by the way, would you marry Monica Lewinsky? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I kind of like her. Yeah, I've like read a couple things she wrote recently, yeah. and yeah, she yeah. seems like pretty smart. Yeah, or like or, or you know articulate you be about to work at the White House. <laughs> <laughs> get, a, get a smart bro job, dog. That's the funniest thing you said. <laughs> In a year doing this I'm gonna show. kill you. I'm gonna kill your entire family. Well, I'm saying you're growing. All right. Yeah. Would you? I'm. I'm. Uh yeah, it, it's just it's just weird to think that that stain will just be on her forever for anybody <laughs> yes. who lived through that scandal. On her dress, yeah. Uh, you hear, it, yeah. <laughs> well, you just hear it all the time. You heard the name all the time every day. It was on the news. Right. Monica Lewinsky. We would even have like in fifth grade because it was I was in fifth grade when that went down. Yeah. We would have like news. The all the classrooms would get together and have, like break down the news and stuff. And yeah, yeah. Whenever you know, like President Clinton's impeached, then we all knew it was because he got his dick sucked. <laughs> Yeah, 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 <laughs> like yeah. We My dad was so pissed when he My like, found out. My family was so pissed, too. He's yeah. like, this guy in court said, it depends on what your definition of what is, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were just so angry. But like, And the mental, the mental gymnastics right. they do, like all the stuff with Trump, like fucking his cheating on his wife, paying off a porn yeah. star that he was fucking when yeah. his wife was pregnant, or whatever it was. And then I'm like, you guys like lost your mind about Clinton. And, and, and then my family would be like, that wasn't that bad. I don't really, I don't really care. What about that really photo? I don't care about that. I'm like, in, in 1998, <laughs> it was all you yeah. people yeah. fucking talked about. Yeah. Yeah. You were yeah. so mad. The that, worst thing. That, that he the brought disgrace to thing. the White House. Yeah. You fucking, like, it's insane. Do you remember that photo of Kellyanne Conway, like, kneeling on the couch with all the black leaders in the Oval Office? Yeah. Where she was, like, on her knees, like, like this. No, Do, this you don't some, remember that? Is this some Photoshop thing that no, now you're thinking is real? No, this happened for real, real and it happened some two dark, years ago, yeah. but it's so thing. long ago What's your that take you on don't that? remember. What's your take on that, Matt? It brought disgrace... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking piece. I was saying, do you remember this fucking study? But All right, I'm going to pull it up. You guys clearly don't remember. No, I remember that. I remember that photo. Why? Why are we talking about it? It had to do with uh, he's just he was just adding just, on to yeah. the hypocrisy and all yeah, that. This is, the, this is the part where Mac gets too high and he just starts <laughs> bringing up irrelevant stuff. It, just it wasn't derailed, that irrelevant. I, just I felt like it was um yeah. I felt like it was a nice little tagline. Oh, it's right. like we're on a mega bus ride and Matt's the old man who has to pee every twenty minutes. Can you, can you pull over the bus, please? There's also the cup the couple you you fought with or started a fight with. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, this is the uh, our our secret the, our Patreon episode, and um, we uh, this weekend I did a show. I don't even know if this is a good story or not, but this weekend I did a show, and uh, I'm on the show. This girl, she's a young comic. She's like brand new. Can I say this? Can I say if she's funny or not? I mean, you, you're is it hint, related? You're hinting at it. Story? You're hinting at it by <laughs> by asking if you could say it. <laughs> she's new at comedy. I'll say <laughs> okay, I'll say that she's very we new. Can, you ask, can I mean, say yeah. whether or not she's funny? It's yeah, not gonna yeah. be like she's actually really funny. <laughs> yeah, but she's the girl. Uh, multiple people have been like, she's she's like so hot. Like Terra Nova loves her. Like, <laughs> and uh, anyway, so I was on a show with her, and uh, Friday night, so we do the show. She gets. We we come outside and uh, she's like she's like do you have like other spots tonight I'm like I'm like no she's like I'm sorry to dump this on you but like I hooked up with a comic and he asked me to be his girlfriend and I said yes and now he like won't stop texting me I'm like kind of scared for my life I don't know what he's gonna do he follows me on location he's got my location mm -hmm. he knows where I am all the time I'm like geez I'm like all right put your phone in airplane mode and we'll go back to my car and I'll drive you to a friend's house or something that you can stay with you know. And uh, so then we start talking. I take her. I'm like, oh, you should meet my girlfriend. 
uh, she'll know what to do. Sure. You know, mm-hmm. she's been around the block. She <laughs> might not be, she might not be uh, the, the bell of the ball anymore. You know, she might be getting up there in years. And, but she's uh, wise. But she's wise. Yeah. You know, she's like an old whore. She's like my old bottom bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Bad story, Mike. <laughs> this bitch. This bitch. I, let, me, let me tell. Let me tell you something about this bitch. All right. I trust. I trust this bitch. You got it. You got it. <laughs> she's my number one. Yeah. You know? uh-huh. She's my bot. Yeah. <laughs> You know, look, she might be uh, a little, 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 she might be a little saggy around the <laughs> FUPA area. It's because the no, story is the con, and it went on a 10 minute tangent. We're <laughs> just talking about how old his girlfriend is. <laughs> yeah, but how, like, how much he loves his mm-hmm. bitch. <laughs> listen, listen. How much he loves something. his old bitch. Sometimes, sometimes you got to choose between a puppy and a rescue dog. You see what I'm saying? You think you want the puppy, but really what you want is the the rescue dog who knows a few things. That's what she is. That's a fun that's a She's fun a character dog. of like that gives like really obvious analogies. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Somebody's gotta choose between a pretty young thing and a nice old ugly thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> right, right, right. I guess right. I can kind of see yeah. <laughs> what you mean, what I mean. I got me an old bitch, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got me a real war horse. Um, that's not even. But anyway, so uh, so we go and we go and uh, we go home, and, yep. and Deb's like, "Oh, you should, you know, like, yeah, whatever. This guy's probably insane." And she's like, "Well, I feel better now." I like gave her a beer, and she's got got an Uber, and she goes home. And then this guy, this fucking guy, messages me the next day on Instagram. I never you, met him before. You never met him, yeah. He's some LA guy. Okay. Never met him before, and uh, the very next day, he's like, uh, "He, hey man, what's your number?" I'm like, uh, "Why do you need it?" He's like, "Were you on a? Sh- were you with my girlfriend last night?" I'm like, uh, "We were on a show together." He's like, "Did you go to your apartment?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, because he was tracking her location." I think that's what happened. But then, how would he know that we were at my apartment unless someone saw us like? Leave the show. She'd probably tell them. Maybe, that's maybe what I'm. She, that's what I'm told thinking. Him. That's maybe, what I'm thinking. Yeah. Maybe she. She maybe just came typed, clean. Maybe he typed that address. Yeah. And somehow found it. I typed that address and found me. Yeah. Because he knew we were on the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe found like I mean, Facebook mm-hmm. events or something. That's a pretty good. That's but some pretty good Instagram detective to work. find you and then message you. Very. It's yeah. insane, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the Wiener thing. It's the Anthony Wiener thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's what she was telling me. She was like, "This guy's a fucking psychopath." Right. Yeah. It, with the, the, it seems like like he says stuff like, "I'm going to be famous in a couple years." Well, yeah. I mean, well, it's it's because <laughs> then the psychotic thing standard. There's, 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 there's that just falls into general comic psychosis. Yeah, standard, you know what right, I mean? Right. Comedy. Right. Right. Yeah. Those are just lies Ignorant. you have to tell yourself so you, <laughs> right. don't, so you don't step in front of a train <laughs> yeah. after a bad set. Yeah. yeah. Two yeah. more years. Yeah. 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 Just two more years. Max. Just right around the corner. On, Hank, you just, just watch yourself age in this business. <laughs> You're nowhere. You have gotten nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what Alan Shane did, man. Alan Shane. Yeah, you made. You always it. bring him up. You seem to I have f- a connection. I feel man. like that's like the end game if you're bad. First of all, you have a weird like. I don't cons- that guy wasn't really a a, a comedian though. No, he was he just wasn't. an old man who he, fucked around. He was an mic. old man who had fun. But how long you, did he do it? Uh, yeah, he was just having fun. But probably I don't know, probably a few years. A few years, three or four years. He you, like drove you, a taxi. He drove a taxi, he would park his cab and he would go to Mike's. He would hold up his phone. You thought he was reading his jokes, but he was filming himself yeah. from his phone, just <laughs> filming his face. <laughs> years of and he would he wouldn't yeah. always do jokes. Sometimes he there was a while he was just getting up and he was just like recounting scenes from Platoon yeah. from memory. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah, he would That's do that great. for a while. Um, <laughs> that's what's so funny. Like, like open mics go from that to somebody like, hello, my name is Michelle Wolf and I'm here to take over the world. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, she, yeah. she still has to go to an open mic. Yeah, no, it's just, fun. it would be one after the other. It'd be like anarchy. That was one. Yeah. T- yeah I remember one time I figured it was like, it was like, probably like Suba went up and she was like yelling about 
like the men or whatever. And yeah. then like Alan Shane just gets up and he's like, I don't know who that girl was, but she should suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> just like this 65 year old drunk, <laughs> yeah. crazy dude. Yeah, yeah. Like a leather jacket and exposed chest there. Right, right, right. Who's like cab isn't even like turned <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He just like just parked in a hotel loading zone. <laughs> it's like, it's like a, a car parked in front of a hospital. <laughs> the like this like crazy guy like some running ambulance. the light. Yeah, yeah, some ambulance can't drop off a of sick kid because he's got a he's got a tell his the joke. double parked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pit. <laughs> Wait, I want to talk about. Did you ever meet a comic named uh, Jeff Simon? Of course. Yes, yeah, so you know. Okay, yeah, I, I met Jeff Simon, and I I remember. I probably remember his three minutes more than yeah. I remember people I grew up with. God, that guy was just a fucking... Have, have we talked about him on the no, show? I don't no, think, no. That guy was just a fucking tragedy. He and was, he's probably still doing comedy. He was an here. old... He was this old, old Jewish guy. Old Jewish guy. Old Jewish conservative guy. <laughs> I didn't even remember conservative. Yeah, he was conservative. <laughs> he would get up and he would do the same two to three minutes every open mic. He'd be like, I'm not an Upper East Side Jew. Uh, you know, they have a Mercedes, a Beamer, a Lexus, a house in the Hamptons. And that was the joke. There was no punchline with it. And then he's like, I'm, I met this woman. She had more uh, baggage than a nonstop flight from Nicaragua to JFK. <laughs> These are the jokes he did. Every single well, one mic. Time, one time. Unchanged. Yeah. Unfazed. <laughs> Did you ever do Ochi's Lounge? You remember Ochi's Lounge? No, you remember comics? I, mi I missed okay. that. I missed that. Okay. Yeah. So comics was like this comedy club. It was like the hip comedy club. Yeah. But like you could just see people from in the East Village that you could see for yeah. free that you would see. So, um, but they had a like an open mic room downstairs, Ochi's Lounge, and Jeff Simon goes up and he's like, he's like this goofy, yeah, he's like a goofy, like probably Upper East Side Jew with like curly hair and a white curly hair and a mustache. He would wear like cargo shorts and yeah. with like the socks pulled up, just like a goofy like older guy, you know. Yeah, and um, I'd be like, oh, so uh, I'm a pharmacist. <laughs> His voice is, was like kind of raspy, but I I yeah. do it like, oh, uh, you know, um, I'm a pharmacist. Uh, I'm conservative. Um, but he goes up and he's like, ah, you know, I'm watching TV the other day and um, uh, I'm looking at Michelle Obama and you know, I don't know, there's something wrong with her mouth, you know. <laughs> She looks like she wants a banana. <laughs> and the, the whole fucking room just goes, ah! like, like, just open mics are like the worst people on the planet. But even that, that was like too far. Too much for them. And he's like, all right, all right, all right, all right folks, let me, uh, let me try to do something else. <laughs> there, was a, there was a story with him, and I never saw this video, but the story is that when the comic strip, when they would do their, their late night auditions, when you audition for late night of the comic strip, uh, you know, the five comics each do five minutes, whatever. But for a while, they were trying to make it like an American Idol type thing, like uh, uh, voice with like judges. And so like, you know, uh, like celebrity judges, right? Yeah, it would be like Robert Kelly or Colin yeah, Quinn yeah. or Patrice. There was a the promo video yeah. had Patrice, which they took it down, but it was Patrice calling a comic who, you know, may be gay, pointing out to him that he was probably gay <laughs> right. and him denying it. And right, then right. Patrice being like, well, I don't think you're self-aware enough to be a comedian then. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the story is when, when Jeff Simon did it, uh, they were like, uh, you're terrible. And Jeff Simon just goes off on all the judges. He really? was like, you're not funny. You're not funny. I'm going to burn this whole club down. <laughs> just like threatens yeah. to kill everybody in the place. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, if you don't pass, I'm going to burn this whole club down. <laughs> Yeah, so there's video somewhere of that. I never saw it, but that's the legend. <laughs> was that he trying that to be funny, or was he just like he flipping? Th he was he like flipping out. Jr. the Booker. He, no, yeah. he was just flipping out. Yeah, because they told him you're terrible. Because he's a guy who is like he he would try to do like uh, I'm an old, but I I smoke pot and I uh, have sex. <laughs> Ooh, I've had sex with this <laughs> ninety year old woman, <laughs> right, folks? Oh, am, I, am I like like that's it? Like a obvious tactic that old comics do. Where they just get up and talk about. Drugs and sex. Anyway, so Luke Cunningham goes up on it, uh, goes up after him, and he's like, "Hey, nice, uh, nice racist material, Jeff. That was really, that was really funny." And Jeff goes, "What? What did I say? It was racist. What did I say?" And Luke's like, "I don't know. Your Michelle Obama banana joke, maybe." He's like, "Okay, what else?" 
to like, looks like I'm not gonna... to like three minutes. Yeah, yeah. And he's asking for a second. What else? Right, right. What else did I say? To <laughs> he goes, okay. What else? <laughs> okay, granted. But what about the two other jokes? What about the two other minutes I was up there. <laughs> everyone just in a three minute set. Everyone just listens to the first minute. <laughs> everyone just he's zooms like, in. He's like, go watch MSNBC. You bleeding heart. <laughs> But I was watching, he's got a video up, and he's, he's at Greenwich, and he's like, tell him, he's like, uh, so folks, you know, I uh, I hate being a pharmacist at Rite Aid. <laughs> he works at Rite Aid. It's like, that's like the worst pharmacy. <laughs> it's like the shittiest place to be a pharmacist. <laughs> Fucking Rite Aid. Oh, it's man. Like, it's like, that's like, Rite Aid's like where you hear someone tell someone to suck their dick because they shoplifted. <laughs> It's, you would just never. If so, like I called in your prescription of right head, you'd be like, well, somewhere else. I'm not going to go to a right yeah. head. Uh, yeah, is there like another <laughs> privately owned? Is there a guy on the street that I can <laughs> so, Is there a house I could knock on? Me, yeah. Please don't make me talk to Jeff Simon. Right. <laughs> like, David Tall has that bit like, I like being a pharmacist because you're a doctor and a cashier. <laughs> Jeff Simon like ringing people up for their for their That's herpes medication. Crazy to imagine <laughs> so funny. that this old. If imagine if you knew you were getting your pills from like an old open micer. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Which is it's like mixing is putting stuff in bottles. Right. <laughs> He's got to leave early to go to go sign up. Yeah, at, hopefully you're not but, as bad at that as you are in this. <laughs> But, but then he's like, he had this one bit where he's like, you know, uh, I, I don't like being a pharmacist at Rite Aid, but, you know, the benefits are pretty good. Anyway, um, <laughs> we had a sale on uh, paper towels the other day. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, is that even your department? <laughs> he's like, he's like, <laughs> like, folks, the other day we were having a sale on paper towels, right? And uh, this gay guy comes in wearing nothing but a pink bathing suit. <laughs> No, we're nothing but like a, a black leather thong <laughs> and his and pink bat slippers, I this joke. which is completely made up. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, wait, yeah. Bounty paper towels. say <laughs> <laughs> bounty paper towels. It's, no, but like, it's, this guy should probably like just be on TV or something for having the balls to like do this as material. He's like, this gay guy comes in, you know, wearing nothing but pink uh, bat slippers and um. <laughs> And uh, I go, he wants he wants two packs. He wants two packs of paper towels. That's 30 rolls. You know, I said, what do you need all those paper towels for? He says, I spill a lot. I go, haven't you heard of a fucking rag? <laughs> They're like eight dollars. It's so anyway, folks, this is true. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was watching Michelle Obama. The other day. Uh, I'm losing. Had to go to the Michelle Obama wants a banana material. <laughs> God, it's so fun. Even when you like, it's like. It's fun doing like shows and stuff, but it's like no one is as funny as like the idea of those people. Yeah, yeah. Of right. people like that. Like you couldn't you know? write that character. Right. You, could, yes. you couldn't write Jeff Simon. Yeah, like people like that are yeah. are the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah about yeah. you know. Right. <laughs> Even like I think back on like Gary Marinoff, like his Yeah, all these guys. Yeah. He, he was, was like this little hunched over <laughs> Jewish guy. Who also died. He died. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know who else died was Ruben Maida, which is which was crazy because he was just like a normal. I didn't I didn't know him. Yeah, this normal like Indian guy, kind of schlubby yeah. Indian guy who you know you'd see at mics and he took me to halal. He introduced me to halal guys. You know, he's just like I had a heart attack and he's fucking dead. But yeah, Gary was this old short guy who would just like this like little little dude who would get up and he would say the n word. Oh, he would. He yeah, would, he would, would go hard at stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he that was his thing. He was like, I'm shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty uh, sure that... He had a I, lisp. He talked about how he was an extra on 30 Rock. And then he went up to Tina Fey and asked for a line. And then he was no longer an extra on 30 Rock. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 30 Rock? He would talk. talk. Yeah. He had a, every, every word was a W. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he had a bit where he would go, you know, I used to work at a bookstore and, you know, when a black guy would come in and he would say, uh, he would say, excuse me, sir, where were the Malcolm X books? I would say, uh, oh, yeah, man, Dover in aisle four. And then my manager said, no, Gary, you're not black. You can't talk like a black guy. And I said, say what? 
<laughs> yeah, that's your right. I forgot about C1. Right. Yeah, yeah. And like somebody should put this on an album or something, like the, yes. the hits. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Say what? And then he he goes, tagged a lot of his jokes with Say What. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he goes, and then uh, the next day, a, a gay guy came into the bookstore and had said, uh, excuse me, do you know where the Truman Capote novels are? And I said, oh, yeah, they're over in uh, aisle six. Uh, but he was like, doing like a gay voice uh -huh. and then my manager said no gowie you're not gay you can't talk like a gay guy and i said <laughs> say what <laughs> Yeah, it's like, uh, it's, for the, like that makes no sense, but I just think that's not, the funniest thing. No, it's like you can learn like joke structure and stuff, yeah, yeah. but it's like you can't learn like unique mental illness. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah. And that's what these guys have like a full handle on of like very specific personalities that don't fit in the world yeah, anywhere yeah, yeah. in yeah. any form yeah. except for like two to three minutes out of a bucket. That's right. the only capacity they could exist. Right. I'm trying to think of who else that I knew because we're probably from a different open <clears throat> mic generation. Yeah. There were weird, weird, weird guys like oh, those are the old guys. There was this little guy, Asian Phil, the long haired one. Oh, Philly Phil. Yeah, oh, Philly yeah. Phil. Yeah, yeah. It was another one who really a big sign of craziness with these guys when they started saying slurs because <laughs> yeah. that's when they realized they could get a reaction. Yeah, Frank encourages them too. He's like, he's one of the funniest comics. In yeah, the he, Frank's like, it's, there's, there's only five comics that I like. He's one of them. Him, Conrad Roth, and Kevin Janaway. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah Phil, yeah, Phil was nuts. He had one joke I liked before he started saying all these slurs. <laughs> yeah. He was like, uh, I, I had a... But he was crazy. He would make all these animal noises. He would scare everybody. Yeah, he would start, pace the room. I, yeah, I remember like when I started thinking, like, like, oh. Do I comment on this guy at the mic? Or? Yeah, because but you're, like, just but, starting, so you're like, I don't know. Maybe he's, like, a staple here or something. Yeah. Not just that he's, like, some guy. Yeah, yeah. And then he, he'd make, like, goat noises if he liked What about Brian to. Kim? Is he, is he funny or is he, like, insane? I think he's uh, kind somewhere of nuts, right? Yeah, somewhere yeah. in the middle. <laughs> okay. They're all mixed. <laughs> Because there's a girl I know, she she uh, was a waitress at the stand, and then yeah. she she started doing comedy. Jamie, she but, but yeah, she I know Jamie, yeah. started doing comedy. But she, she was funny. Yeah. Um. She had a boyfriend who like did improv, and she said that like, uh, this guy came up to her on the subway one time, and he goes, and he like points at something. He goes, "Hey, man, is that shit?" And uh, the guy's like, "I don't know." Jamie's boyfriend's like, "I don't know," and he goes and like picks it up and like pretends to eat it, and he's like, "Oh yeah, that shit, all right." And uh, the guy's like, oh, okay. And he's like, he, the, the guy like didn't get it. And he's like, no, no, no. Um, I don't think you understand. Like, like I'm a comedian. My name is Brian <laughs> Kim. <laughs> I'm, always, I'm just always trying to make people laugh. <laughs> that guy's crazy. Yeah, Dude, he's, he's, a, guy, like, he's a fucking nice guy too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he like dr he like drunkenly messaged me one time at like fucking <laughs> six a.m. And he was like, can you read my pilot this morning? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man, I, ca I can't do that. That's a crazy ask mm -hmm. for a morning, mm -hmm. you know? And then, like, the next day. Uh, well, you're not just up in your underwear, <laughs> too, at <laughs> yeah, a homeless yeah, shelter. Yeah. Looking for yeah. pilots to read. Do you got an hour? To, <laughs> like, a, a next day or, like, a week later is, is something like, he's like, uh, you could have read it, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like crazy. <laughs> like, but he's clearly yeah. like drunk both times. I think you want to be yeah. sober now. But it's just like, what's a weird is like, and I uh, find this annoying sometimes. It's like, these guys are like funny to remember, yeah. but it is annoying when that, you're there. At when the you're mic. there and you have to interact with these people who are not like would be called out of any other social setting yeah. for acting that way. Yeah, but yeah. in this environment, it's like encouraged and right. enabled. Right. So it's like sometimes those guys have to be checked because right. it's like you can't be walking around that broken yeah, yeah, and expect yeah. to never be told. <laughs> yeah. You can't be doing the say what thing But then they just make t-shirts out of them. Or right. something. <laughs> but there was also a weird thing where like sometimes because everybody would kind of make fun of these people and then right. sometimes you would make fun of them and you would have moments where you would kind of like hurt their feelings a little bit and you would realize that like, right. like they oh, had feelings and stuff. Right. Yeah. They're, they're, oh God, I'm sorry. They're a person. Also, they might be a crazy person. Like yeah. their, their crazy has been contained, but I don't know how far it could extend, you know? Exactly. Yeah.
Because there was that one guy who murdered his mom. Yes, that guy. I there forget was that guy's name. That murdered his mom. He was like a Legion of Skanks guy or something. Yeah, right? he yes. did mics at the creek. No, well, no, but he would hang out. At. Oh, I see. And he would always he would get up and he'd be like, <laughs> Louis, like on some long diatribe, like, listen, doggy, listen, that's not my fault, okay? <laughs> just because I told the guy to kill his mom, and just because I said yeah. you're a fucking pussy if you don't kill your mom, you know, that's not that's not something that I, I don't take responsibility for that. Listen, yeah, that doggy. <laughs> no, he killed <laughs> your honor. <laughs> listen, doggy. Yeah. yeah, he killed his mom. Was found in a car. There was this other that other guy. Oh God, what was his name? He was a cop. Um, he was a. a like light skinned black cop. His claim to fame was he arrested the Central Park Five and was Oh, Eric uh, something. And he was convinced that they were still guilty. That right. Was, that was still like <laughs> like on Facebook, it was still like his cover right. photo was. That was like, his big thing. That was his big thing. They that convinced they were guilty. Oh, shit. And then there was an article in the New York Post about this guy because he got drunk and uh This is so funny. And left his gun at this gay bar and it was like the new york post so they kept trying to call him gay as like like that was the real problem uh-huh. so they subtly call him gay like like eight times in the article they're Dude, like is that a gay they're bar like, why no, they're, like, but then they're like famous gay bar uh the phoenix yes he, he answered the door with this chihuahua like it was like they right, kept right. calling him gay without calling him gay <laughs> right in a tank top and a chihuahua <laughs> but it was like he was just like drunk and like left his gun there yeah, he like went to the bathroom to take a piss and like left his gun in the fucking bathroom. And, and actually, I remember like Kate Weinberg telling me about that. She was like, she was like, oh yeah, I was talking. To, his name was like Eric Reynolds or something. That's right. Yeah, yeah he's like, she's like, I was talking to Eric Reynolds and like, man, there's a lot of stuff people don't know about the Central Park Five and how they're innocent. <laughs> I'm like, oh really? And it, he was so he was always on it. That was like his big thing. They were fucking that guilty. Is so crazy. And I, I mean, That's I so don't crazy. And when you don't know, I didn't know anything. I don't. I still don't. Know anything really anything about the Central Park Five? Yeah, I, I don't. So don't Trump Trump went to, took so out an ad Trump was calling big. him <laughs> guilty. Yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember yeah, that. I know yeah, that. He, he did his research. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but that was his big thing. Like, yeah, the Central Park Five are guilty. <laughs> They're actually guilty, and Al Sharpton's involved in a big cover up. <laughs> <laughs> he leaves his gun at a gay bar. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you can't write this stuff. And then sometimes, like, these people would just, they would just die. That would be it, you know? <laughs> right. Like, uh, there was a guy, Phil O'Reilly, who was, like, yeah. just an older Irish guy, probably, sure. you know, from Queens, showed up. And, oh, I'm from Queens, uh, folks. And I, I, I think he probably had some, you know, he was just a guy you'd see all the time. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. It's like that. that is how this ends for a lot of people. It mm. all ends. Remember the scene in Raging Bull when he's, like, fat? Yeah. And he's hosting at a nightclub, and it's just, like, a shell of... A human being that he was. Yeah. It's like, that's how it ends. Yeah. For every, even if you don't do comedy, that's how it ends. Right. Emotionally, that's the end. Right, right, right. Right. No one really dies with dignity. No. It's, it's always bad. <laughs> it just, just like, gets bad. It just gets bad, yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, but I think some, some people, like, get... Uh, you know, they accomplish things. They have some yeah. accolades or some, you know, some things that they can look back on. And be, but, uh, they, get, they get these milestones. Yeah. But some people just do open mics for 15 years and then die. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I hope you found some joy. I don't know. We got some, a good life. Somewhere. We got this podcast, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> what about the people that get accolades and then fall from greatness? Like Kevin Spacey. I got a <laughs> podcast. Yeah, they did him dirty, huh? <laughs> Yeah. That poor guy. I'm gay. <laughs> Still my favorite thing we've ever said. <laughs> oh what, when he yeah, came when he came out? He, yeah, it was, yeah. It was like yeah. his big defense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just crazy to me that he almost like Kaiser Sozate us. Like he he tried to rape a kid and then we just enjoyed his movies for like fifteen years. Yeah. A few of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's two tough. gave him two Oscars. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Can people change? I'm not sure. <laughs> I said, give him one more shot. Yeah, All right, Spacey. Yeah. 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 See if you got one more LA Confidential left in you. <laughs> we'll let you do one more <laughs> as of cards. But then <laughs> we'll reevaluate. It's just so much pressure, though. He does like a period piece in like, Victorian England. He's like, no, you don't understand what this means. <laughs> uh, can't, yeah. Well, um, we're at time. Otherwise, uh, we've got holiday movies. Uh, there we go. We're at time. Daytime Mr. We're at time. Shows. Mr. I, I do the Kevin fucking Hart. bare minimum. We Kevin talk, Hart. I think we talked or about Dev it. Or Dev is mad. Yeah. What else is new? <laughs> <laughs> 
What else is fucking new with this girl? All right. <laughs> um, yeah, we can we can wrap up. Okay, well. You want to wrap? Uh, what do you think, Dan? Anything this was so fun. Talk yeah, about? it was great. Yeah. I liked it. I still want to go back and. If you're happy, it's I'm like happy. podcasting is the only way you can get together with your friends nowadays. <laughs> if I was like, Dan's gonna come over, we're gonna have a conversation mm-hmm. in my living room. Yeah, and, and I was like, oh, I should get snacks. Shelby would be like, you guys want that's, anything? That's kind of weird. <laughs> really? But now, if you record it and a hundred, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah two hundred contractors listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's this. It's fun because I like talking to both of you guys. It's it's yeah, yeah. weird when like. I'm sure you've been asked to do that, where it's like you have to go and do a podcast with somebody you've never spoken oh, I've been to asked before. To do Will Julian's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you've, someone you've never had a conversation with, and yeah. so and then it comes like you bring anecdotes, and it's like I don't know who you are. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It's so like, right, for right. the third block of this show, you're going to tell a story <laughs> for about 20 minutes. <laughs> At least that's to- like structure. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if it's somebody you don't know and yeah. there's no structure to it. Right. And then it's like that. It's crazy. Yeah. You know? And then sometimes there are people who like respect you. They're like, yeah, you're really. Oh, a- yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is where it ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In someone's yeah. living room. <laughs> Again, you're talking about Will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that's it. Holiday movies. What's your favorite holiday movie? Uh, well, you don't probably don't enjoy Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, we we got a Christmas tree as a kid. Fuck that, yeah. man. Yeah, no, uh, I love Christmas. I've never been invited to a Hanukkah, and I, but I feel like nobody really celebrates it. What are the best holidays? Wait, name, name some, and I'll think of... Well, I just remember my uncle one year being like, you know, Bill O'Reilly was saying, you could say Merry Christmas just as a celebration of Jesus and his life. You don't have to be religious. <laughs> just say Merry Christmas to people. Um, my favorite's uh, It's a Wonderful Life. I love it. That one's like mm. such a dark movie. Yeah. I just saw, also saw a movie at IFC, and it was funny because they showed the, like, the original trailer for It's a Wonderful Life, and it is so bad at showing what that movie is because they're like, it was like made by a person who probably hadn't even seen the movie. So like, oh, wonderful life, showing you wonderful laughs, <laughs> wonderful love, <laughs> wonderful no snow. Yeah, it's yeah, like a guy yeah. like he's like running to the edge of a bridge. Like I'm gonna jump. Like it's like yeah. a really dark movie. For right, ninety percent of it. And when there's voiceover yeah. with that old guy, he's like having having fun. <laughs> That yeah, old the, 50s trailer voice. Right, right. By the way, I'm going to Scarlett Johansson's uh, Christmas party tomorrow. Whoa. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Um, You've truly <laughs> arrived. <laughs> and the only thing is, I didn't know this. It's fuck it, It's Mad Men themed. I don't want to go now. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you have to themed. follow that? I don't, I don't think I've know. ever really followed so. a theme. I'm going to just wear a FUBU. <laughs> I'm going to wear a FUBU <laughs> sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about your Mad Men themed party, you fucking whore. How could you misinterpret the Mad Men into something completely It's different? a Wonderful yeah. Life is a great one. Miracle on 34th Street. That's an old classic now, one. Now, the Santa yeah, movies are like, kind of weird, though, yeah. because, like, looking back on it, like, when you believe in Santa, like, they kind of make sense. Like, sure, the Tim sure. Allen, the Santa Claus. Um I believed in Santa until I was like 13. Um, <laughs> just, just a Char- year too old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Charlie Brown one is a classic. Yeah. Like although, that one. yeah. Although, although it is funny, like that Linus gives this like very, very religious Jesus speech at the end. Right. You remember yeah. that? Don't shove it down our throats. Yeah. Right. And he's like, it's like, well, what's it all about? And like the spotlight comes on. He's like, it's about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord. Mm. It just gives this big long thing about Jesus. Mm. I feel like if I had a sitcom, I would do an episode where like it's like it's Christmas and uh you know, my kid my kid in the show sees a homeless guy steal from the community food bank <laughs> and and then he reports that guy to the cops and he gets arrested because the society needs law and order. <laughs> yeah. But we play like warm music, so it's like he did the right uh, thing in the film. <laughs> oh, I know. I know, you can get, uh, I know you can get a couple hot meals <laughs> in jail. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best. The the, the snark, uh, snarky comments they give. Yeah. As they as they're being hauled off, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy a full <laughs> enjoy a foot long in jail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just lazy. <laughs> Do you want to yeah. go home? You want to go home? I guess we're all right. Trading cool. places, I guess a Christmas movie kind of. Oh yeah, Die Hard. <laughs> I'm jerking off as I've seen that. I'm so sick of that as a bit. What? <laughs> Die Hard's my favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> 25 likes. Facebook. I heard of that one. Who said that? I don't know. Everybody said it. 
Mm. Google it. It's out there. Remember Jingle All the Way? That's a good one. That's Sinbad. a pretty good one, yeah. Sinbad's great. Sinbad, yeah. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Sinbad's a mailman, yeah. Nice. Or wait, is Muppet, it Arnold Muppet Schwarzenegger? Christmas Carol's good. That's, That's really a great good. one. That's a great one. Yeah. yeah. Or any Christmas Carol, to be honest. Like, I love the old Scrooge actor. Whoever it is, is like the most accomplished oh, actor Alist- of all time. Alistair Sim. Oh yeah, and then there's a there's a Patrick Stewart version that they that they made for TNT that and that's that's pretty good. We should find that. Yeah, you want to find yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Deb just sent me a picture <laughs> of her tits. Like I don't know what they look like. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, like she's not mad. Yeah, she that doesn't sound like she's mad at well, all. No, she's trying to hold on to something that's probably dead. <laughs> she's trying to revive up uh, yeah. the romance. Oh yeah, thanks. Oh, also, your tits. also, home send, her al- your, send her your flaccid cock that's eight <laughs> inches. <laughs> home Alone, yeah. Home Alone two. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. Yeah, I never saw Home Alone two. What? Really? Yeah, they what? got the bird yeah. lady in that one. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta watch it then. Is yeah. it a Christmas movie? It's a Christmas. Movie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Also, right. Trump is in it. Yeah, yeah. both both are Christmas movies. So. All right. Well, uh, any plugs, Dan? Um, no, uh, the Flatbush Misdemeanors, the show I did with my friend Kevin Iso. You can just look it up. It's online. And yeah, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, check that show out. Deb helped make it. She found a bunch of delinquents. <laughs> found some <laughs> wonderful delinquents. We're going to go to their graduation, Deb was telling me last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're graduating high school, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, she doesn't work at that school anymore, but Deb, oh, I know. Deb, Dan did a th- uh, sh- like a short film where he... So he uh, he needed students, yeah. So Deb used a couple of her students, and then they also used Eagle Wit. <laughs> I know. He's <laughs> yeah. like yeah, in his twenties, but looks like one a, of the looks like a high school. Kid. One of the one of the kids, uh, one of the because in the third episode, the, one of the storylines is this boy, uh, like was rumored to have hooked up with a girl, both of whom were were, were Deb students. Yeah. And the boy took me aside because basically he thought he should be paired with a hotter girl. Really? Like yeah. So he takes me aside. He's like. Yo, I know some really fine girls. He's like, he's like, look at this girl. I'm like, yo, man, yeah, like we are not into the same people. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, right, right. also, I don't care. He's showing you like Instagram thoughts. <laughs> I don't know what 15 yeah. year old you think you're gonna show me. That I'm <laughs> Dan, gonna be like, Damn. wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woody Allen would have <laughs> right. had an eye for detail. Dan, Dan like, shows him like some mousy non-binary Jewish girl that he's really into. <laughs> Hey, what do you think of her? Huh? <laughs> what do you think of Rebecca Schwartz? <laughs> She's got a nice, tasteful Instagram with her French bulldog. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> All right, time to end the show. Perfect. Bye bye.